Here's a rather nice way to remember De Morgan's Law. What does not A and B really equal? Not A and B. Let's distribute these. Not A becomes not A. Not B becomes not B. Not and becomes or. We can again say the same, albeit more concisely, using the tools of sequence notation, also known as sequent notation. Using sequent notation, we represent the negation function via this complement symbol. Using more formal language, we can represent the various inputs as propositions. We can assign the two, in this case two, we can assign the two propositions the following monikers of P and Q. We can also represent the AND operation using the logical conjunction symbol. While we represent the OR operation using the logical disjunction symbol. So let's state De Morgan's theorem again, but using this more concise formal language and its symbols. The negation, not, of a conjunction and, move over, is the material equivalent of the disjunction or of the negations. Let's move this up and compare these two. On the bottom we have not P and Q. Above we have the negation of the conjunction. Is the material equivalent of or equals the disjunction of the negations equals not P or not Q? What do you know?